Well, again, you just continue to show it. You continue because again, it's not it's uncharacteristic. Well, we're, again, I keep saying this. We were third or fourth, even with our increased passing throughout the year, fourth in the in the league. Even moving the ball the way we did this year, our our passing numbers are way up. Our assists are way up, and for us, and it's and no disrespect to Washington, it's not like they're doing something trapping or or doing something that's uh, that's confusing us. We're confusing ourselves, and uh, you know, again, as a coach, all we can do is show it show it to the guys and trust. We got to trust the pass. That's something I think we got away from in the fourth quarter. Uh, once we did not make shots or turn down shots or whatever, I thought we, you know, we didn't trust the pass, and we got to continue to do that. Mm -hmm. Let them fly. You know, I, you know, C.J. Miles, DeLon Wright, they've got to let those shots fly. I don't care if you miss six or seven of them. They in the shot spectrum. They're your shots. Dave, you've got to shoot those shots because, again, you turn down that shot and you turn it into one. We turned down one corner three. It went into a layup for them because of a bad pass. And so uh, those are things that um, I think you just asked it. Asked it uh, 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 what do you do? How do you show that? You just show it and then trust that the guy's going to make the decision. And we will. I, I have no doubt in my mind. I did like the fight. I thought we came out with the right intensity, right uh, mindset of playing hard, physical. Uh, I'm going to say this again. You know, we, we got to look at some of the hits and fouls. We're, we're getting hit at the rim. Uh, and and understand that we got to play through those hits. We we getting cracked. We're getting hit at the rim, but we got to go ahead and finish those, no matter what happens. Uh, you know, Gortat's one of the best screeners in the league uh, of clamping. We've got to get off his body and, and not let his arms get our arms get tied up with his arms. Um, you know, it's a new screening style. I started out by saying that we got to move, continue to move the ball, continue to go through our actions, Michael, and not give in to that. And it, we have done that. We did that. They did the same thing in game two, uh, a little bit more. They st they didn't blitz as much and played us a little softer. Uh, but we've gotten away from continuing to move the ball, and we got to do that. That's something we were calling, you know, especially late in the game. And when it, you know they get the switches, we got the switch we wanted. But there's other things we can do. Uh, before we attack that, and that we that we have that we have as far as our actions are concerned. They still need to create an advantage, so they set up to, to right, to right. But again, you, it, there's other actions you got to do before you try to attack that to get floor balance, to get a rhythm, to get uh, the defender on his heels a little bit. So there's some things we we automatically do in those situations, and we didn't do that last night. And that's I, I, I'll take the hit for that. It's on all of us. It's, it's, there's no one person. It's on all of us. Again, it's, it, the, the series is 2-2. Uh, that's why you play the entire season to get home court advantage. Now it's a three-game series, and we got two at our house. So that's the way we got to look at it. And uh, you know, that's uh, you have a lot of series around the league. You got uh, Cleveland, and you got Boston in the same situation. So uh, that's why you play as hard as you do during the regular season to get home court advantage. Well, again, they're, they're competitors. Kyle and Demar both are competitors. Uh, I think I, my head, Demar Derozan has been one of our best passers all year. Uh, so for him to turn it over or or not see, you know, make the right decision with the ball is uncharacteristic. Uh, because I, I will say he's done a good job all year of doing that. And then I'm, I'm sure as a competitor, when he doesn't see uh, the shot go in or the guy's making it right, then, okay, I've got to do it. And he doesn't have to do that. That's why we changed what we do. That's why we changed our offense is to make sure the ball is moving, clicking. And, again, it's it's one of those things that sometimes you you know, fall back into that, that uh, mindset 
which, you know, on, on, at some point in the shot clock, you have to have that, but not as early in the shot clock as we've been doing it. And, and we explained that and we showed that today, and we're going to work on it again tomorrow. It didn't used to be easy. That's, you know, three, four years ago, if we're going back in history, that's what we used to bother, but it doesn't anymore. So he, that's his growth, uh, passing out of that. And that's why I said for him to turn it over, for our team to turn it over, is very uncharacteristic. And that's, you know, you take away, we had, what, 18 or 19 yesterday, you, you get that down to average of 12 or 13, and it's a different ball game. And that's, that's something we can control. Well, it, again, you, it's it's you know, again that's his aggression. But you're right; it does affect whoever. It doesn't matter if it's Kyle or JV or whoever. If you got four fouls, you're not as aggressive and you're a little bit more passive in certain situations. But again, we've got to continue to be smart. Uh, the fouls we take, some of the fouls we take, you know, guys going to the basket, we got to either take a charge or take a stand and not give them end ones. Those are the ones I don't mind. But the ticky tack fouls we got to lay back from and lay off of. That way you can maintain an aggressive attitude, Ryan, because it's just human nature. When you get that third or fourth foul, you, you, know, you start thinking, uh, you know, not being as aggressive. You get your hands back instead of having active hands. And um, that's one thing we can't do. And again, you got to make sure we're judicious with our, our fouls when we do take them. Pascal had some success on John. You, it's not every day you see a, essentially a big man take on, on the point guard. Um, what went into the decision? Did you like what you saw? What are the risks? What are the advantages? Well, we like what we saw. I'm not going to go into schemes or matchups or things like that, Kevin, as far as putting it out there. Uh, what we No, not even a little bit. No, I'll, we'll talk about the games in general, but not going to advertise. I don't, I don't, we don't have anything to prove as far as take, talking about uh, decisions and uh, adjustments or anything like that. Well, what is a big <clears throat> I beg your pardon? Speed, speed and power, speed and power. Those, those two things that we, you know, that we, you fight against as far as um, a guy like Wall and then the other one is speed and, and the, the featheriness of, of Beal, you know. And so they're, they're a tough backcourt. And like he, Kevin was asking, you know, there's different matchups that work against those guys and there's certain matchups that don't. And uh, it's on us as a coaching staff to make sure we try to get the right matchups on, on certain guys and, and uh, that, that fit. And, but uh, Bill, I mean, all gives you a different, uh, but a lot of, he got what, 11 points in transition. And so those are the things that we got to make sure we get back. And a lot of that is his speed coming at you and some of them off our turnovers.